Hello friends, I'm Dr. Vivek. And uh, today I'm going to discuss a very important novel of George Lamming. The novel's name is In the, in the Castle of My Skin, or uh, this, this can be pronounced as Castle. So both are correct, Castle and Castle. Let's begin the novel. This novel, first of all, uh, writer's introduction. George Lamming was born in 1927 and uh, an important figure in Caribbean literature. Caribbean literature means Caribbean countries, you know, uh, they are between uh, some islands, a group of islands there between North America and uh, South America. Mm. Uh, and uh, there are between the North and South America, there are some countries, some islands. Uh, so you, before reading this novel, I suggest you to go through the geographical information, the, uh, the situation, the uh, where they, these countries are. So geographical knowledge uh, is uh, good enough if you have. When the critical acclaim with his debut novel in the uh, Castle of My Skin, 1953. His debut novel is Castle of My Skin. So nationality, Barbadian writer he is. Uh, Barbe, Barbados is a country, uh, I told you, the other West, West Indies countries, they are in between uh, North and South America. So these uh, country, he belongs to Bar um, Barbados. He is a novelist, essayist, poet, academic, notable works, some important notable works by George Lamming in the Castle of My Skin, 1953, The Emigrants, 1954, The Pleasures of Exile, 1960, Natives of My Person, 1972. These are the, some of the important novel, uh, novels written by George Lamming. Now the novel, we'll talk about, uh, about the novel. This novel is written in 290 pages, uh, 14 chapters, written in 14 chapters, and it's a, a semi-autobiographical novel, you can say, somewhere you find uh, uh, the personality of uh, George Lanny here in the novel. Fragmented structures, uh, it's a very important characteristic of uh, of uh, post-colonial, uh, post-modernism theory, post-modernistic uh, features, fragmented structure. It's not linear. Structure is, uh, the narrative is not linear. Uh, that's at proper beginning and end, but it is fragmented. Somewhere you have to, it's a collage. It's a collage, so you have to frame out, uh, give, give the connection to, to, the, to the narratives and uh, structure of the play of this novel. Uh, first uh, three chapters uh, are related to G. The G is the protagonist of the novel. G is life. G is a single uh, child uh, and uh, his father is dead. His mother, uh, mother's name is G's mother. Uh, so it's not a particular name given in the novel, G's mother. Uh, she has the name like G's mother. <clears throat> in the in next five chapters of this novel, the reader exposed to the power relation and impeding transformation. How it, in three chapters, later on three chapters, you find the power struggle, how the, how the Crackton, there's a village called Crackton and the name of the land, landlord here, Whose, whose land is all the people are living on, uh, the landowner, the Crackton. And uh, you find the power struggle, there are strikes uh, uh, in the novel and uh, their rights uh, in the novel you find. So in the last four chapters, the novel describes the transformation that has been brought in. How in the last chapters you find the transformation uh, had happened in the Crackton village, what changes has happened uh, during a couple of years, uh, you see the changes. 
G's birthday. Now, now we'll start with the G's birthday. G has ninth birthday. He's a protagonist of the novel, narrator of the novel most of the time, narrator is G. So its novel is written in the perspective of, uh, of a nine-year child, can say, how he sees the world. Um, though it's not always uh, all, all throughout the novel, it's not the protagonist, it's not the narrator, uh, the third person narrative is also there, but most of the time is the narrator. G's birthday it is looking out, out the window of the house, he is uh, looking out the window and there's a rain, continuous rain on the birthday of G. And talking with his mother about the unusual rain in the village. He is unhappy with the rain. So people are happy because it's good. Rain is always good. But he, he particularly, he is not happy because, uh, uh, because uh, he is not able to um, celebrate his ninth birthday. So he is not happy. Mostly chapters uh, are narrated by the boy that I told you, G's. Uh, some of the friends of G, Bob, a boy of the neighboring village. Uh, Thama is also uh, the friend of uh, G. So a group of uh, children there. The two senior members of the village, uh, they live together and represents the old ways of the village. Two senior member of the village, uh, Pa and Ma, the old man and the old woman. So these are the senior members uh, of, of the village uh, in the novel. The novel ends on an ironical note as the old man states. Uh, in the novel, you find how it ends. It's, it's also important, which I like how, how the pa, pa says. Pa is the oldest person and uh, his wife, uh, old mother, old woman, has died and he is living, but he is on the verge of verge of dying. He's so old and he's shifting from the village. He's going to the new place, uh, like uh, uh, this is, uh, is, a, is a, he's shifting from his own place. And uh, this protagonist, uh, G, uh, is also going to Trinidad for studies. So he is also leaving. Uh, so how Pa says, we both setting forth tomorrow. Tomorrow they are they are leaving their, their birthplace, their living place, their village to the last resting. It would be the last resting uh, for them, especially to the Pa. Place before the grave. He is quite near to the Pa, is quite near to the village, to, to the grave and you into the wide, wide world. The protagonist of the novel is going to enter in the new, into the wide, wide world. It would be very different, very, very, uh, you know, new world for, for the narrator, the G. Major themes of this play, uh, sorry, major themes of this novel is exile, displacement, longing for whom, are the very important themes of this uh, novel. Now, uh, these are some other themes we talk about, we discuss uh, ideas of dependency and blackness in the novel. There is the idea of dependency, how people are dependent, cracked in village, people are dependent, and the blackness in the novel. What, uh, what blackness uh, uh, covers a role in this novel, that is also a theme. The population despised its own skin. Uh, the people who are cracked in village, uh, they despise, they hate their own skin. There are several references in the novel which indicates that the local population is uncomfortable with its blackness. The, they are uncomfortable. They are not genuine or they are not natural with their skin. Uh, they are very uncomfortable. You find uh, in the novel with the blackness, skin does matter. The Lemming says, Lemming notes, no black boy wanted to be white, but it was also true that no black boy liked the idea of being black. They don't want to be white, but they don't also, with the fact, with this fact, this is also a fact that they don't like the idea of being black. 
why they are the, the skin color is very important with the blackness you you are different and if you have a white skin you are different how 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 uh, how very ironical or very strange it is the skin plays a so important role in the life of these people you see in the novel anti colonial struggle in the novel you find uh, there is a land uh, land owner of the village uh, earlier it was uh, mr crackton uh, and uh, later on mr slime becomes uh, the land owner of the village the strikes there strike happens there mr slime he challenges crackton and gradually replaces crackton as uh, replaces crackton uh gradually replaces crackton as uh, as the landowner now later on in the quite near to the end of the novel mr slime becomes the landowner towards the end of the novel it is revealed that he is not interested in helping the poor but he is focused only on the advancing of his own cause mr slime was not earlier in the beginning of the novel it seems that he is helping people he want land to distribute them to welfare of the village but later on they find that he was dominating he was not doing for the welfare of the village so later villagers got to know of this uh what i uh, personally like a quotation in the novel the best quotation i find uh, in the novel it says i quote a man aren't a man till he can call the house he he live in my own and it aren't matter how small it be once you call uh, once you can call it your own house so uh, its house is very important in the post colonial literature the identity it is represented or it is related house which you are live in represents your identity identity crisis is the most prominent theme of post colonial literature you find this theme in the uh novel of bs noypol a house for mr swas and uh, most of the other post colonial literature to find the identity the the identity crisis you say i didn't uh, person want identity in the form of uh, home and home represents a permanent identity so here it's a very important quote where he finds he, he want a, his own house and that is for his identity that shows his uh, his uh, identity It means he is existing in this world if he has the home to live in so this is all about this novel uh, i try to explain you in a simple way and uh, thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much